Hi, today I'm going to show you how to play a game of darts and the basics of it and how to actually play it so you can play with your friends and family at home. The first step in actually playing a game of darts is you have to find a good spot to play a game of darts. So you can either play in a basement or even like how I have set up here, you can play it in a garage. So once you have your setting for your game of darts, the next step is you want to find a wall like we have here that you want to set up your dartboard. So to set up the dartboard, you have to have the center of the bullseye exactly five foot, eight inches off the ground. As you can see here, it's just 68 inches. All right, so here we have the dartboard that we're gonna be using. And before you, you hook up the dartboard to the board, to your wall, you have to install a post here. Just drill that into the very center of the board. And then also on our dartboard, we have these three thumb wheels that will help you place the dartboard on your actual wall. So before we actually put the dartboard on the wall, you have to install a bracket and secure it with these two screws. And once that's in, or this bracket has to be exactly at that five foot eight, eight inch mark. But once that's all ready, you can put it in the dartboard. like that. The next step in your game of darts for setting up is to mark the throwing line, otherwise known as an ogie. Uh, the exact distance from the dartboard that you need to throw is seven feet, nine and a quarter inches. In order to mark that, you need to use your measuring device and mark a point just at the end of the dartboard all the way until you reach seven feet, nine and a quarter inches. And my dad and I built this throwing platform, which marks the exact distance that we use. But for you guys at home, you can just use a piece of tape right at that exact point to throw it at you. The specific game of darts I will be showing you guys today is 301, where you must double in, and to finish, you must double out. So the basics of it includes all these different segments, each one which is a correlated with the uh, number value. As you can see, this one right here is worth 20 points. But with these different rings, you can multiply your scores for each start thrown in each segment. So with the outer ring, you multiply each dart thrown in the segment by a two. So for example, if I hit a dart right here, this would be a double 20, so you'd get 40 points for that dart. Now, the inner ring is uh, worth triple amount of the points. So right here, if I throw a dart at the triple 16, that would be 16 times three, so that this dart would be worth 48 points. Now, in the very center is the bullseye, which is commonly known. So the outer ring, the green one, is a single bull, which is worth 25 points, but the very inner one is a double bowl worth 50 points. All right, so the object of the game 301 is to wind all your points down to zero before your opponent does. So in order to start that process of winding down your points, you first must hit one of your darts in the outer ring or you must double in. So for example, I could throw a double 20 and that would count as 40 points and that I would be able to start winding down. Now, as the game goes on, you can aim for a maximum amount of points with one dart. For example, you could hit a triple 20, which is 60 points, or even a triple 19, which is 57. But once you start to get down towards zero, you gotta try to get your amount of points to an even number, which will allow you to double out and reach zero. So for example, if I have, let's say, um, if I have 57 points and I, I want to get a uh, double 20 to get out. So I would have 57 so I could hit a 17, making my score 40, and then I could hit a double 20, which would bring my score down to zero. And I doubled out by hitting one in the outer ring. And then my score would be zero and I, I would have won the game. 
All right, so a few tips to improve your game is first to have a good stance. Now, when you have your stance, make sure you have about like 70% of your weight on your front leg and then about like 30 on your back leg. So you're leaning over like this. And then the next is to have good arm position. You should have a 90 degree angle with your elbow and have the elbow parallel to the ground like this. And then have three fingers on the dart. You just line it up and aim at the segment you're trying to hit. Just visualize yourself hitting it. And when you release, just make sure you follow through. So that, that concludes the video on how to play a game of 301 darts. Thank you for watching. Coach Anto, I've been practicing my game, and I'd like to challenge you, preferably on payday, in a game of darts over here at the main cave. We'll get you over here.